Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, AI the Great. And today, I'm coming at you with another great video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My content is fragrances, fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Now let's get started. That's a vibe. She wanna vibe. That's a vibe. Yeah. Thanks for coming at such short notice. I know you're really busy, but this is very important. Why are you all the way over there? Come closer. I'm not going to bite you. So let's cut to the chase, because we're both very busy. Is spring coming early this year or not? Nah? Because... I'm ready to wear my spring fragrances and I need to tell my frag friends what's popping for this spring. Whoa. So pretty Thanks for the intel. Guys, so you heard it here first from my little groundhog friend. Spring is going to spring early this year, okay? And we're gonna be ready. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing my top designer picks for spring fragrances. I'll be following this video up with the niche version pretty soon in a couple of weeks, so stay tuned for that. But today, we're gonna focus on 10 designer fragrances for spring. But before we go any further, make sure you're subscribed, tap the notification bell if you are, so you don't miss any of my content. So the first fragrance on the list is this warm, spicy, tuberose floral fragrance, Twilly de Hermes. Guys, this is a beautiful, beautiful tuberose and ginger fragrance. It's slightly spicy. There's tuberose, there's ginger, and there's sandalwood. It's an amazing fragrance, guys. The longevity on this fragrance is like seriously enormous. And you can purchase shower gels, you can purchase the body cream and the hand cream, because you know we need a lot of hand creams now that we're sanitizing and your hands get really dry. Twilly hand cream is amazing. Guys, this is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. This is actually an all year round type of fragrance, but mainly this will shine so beautifully in the spring, guys, with that ginger and tuberose note. Amazing. Twilly de Hermes. Next on the list is Victor and Rolf's flower bomb guys this fragrance is a rediscovered love for me because back in the day this used to be my signature scent yes i can't believe i actually had a signature scent i put it down for years because i was so tired of this fragrance and then earlier this or not this year earlier last year i rediscovered my love for flower bomb and i've been hooked ever since it's such a beautiful fragrance so the notes are bergamot there's green tea there's sandbag jasmine there's rose freesia musk and patchouli and guys you definitely smell the patchouli in this fragrance slightly earthy patchouli but blended with the florals it's a beautiful fragrance super long lasting and this is another one that you can layer with body creams and shower gels and hand creams victor rolf's flower bomb now we have this oriental floral fragrance that i pretty much beat up and ran through <laughs> coco mademoiselle guys look at this is this even called a dent? This is just total at this point. This isn't a dent. <laughs> anyway, guys, so this is a beautiful, youthful, fun fragrance from the house of Chanel. I absolutely love it, as you can tell. And this is another one that you can purchase body washes and creams and body oils. It's very long lasting. It's very strong. It can be polarizing. Let me tell you some of the notes. There's orange mandarin, there's orange blossom, there's bergamot, there's mimosa, jasmine, Turkish rose, ylang ylang, tonka bean, there's patchouli, vanilla, vetiver, and white musk. A lot of notes in this fragrance, guys, but this is a very classic fragrance, very beautiful, very youthful. I feel like this is age appropriate for any age. If you're in your 20s, if you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, whatever. You can wear Coco Mademoiselle, timeless fragrance, guys. Now for my tuberose and orange blossom lovers, Givenchy Leon Chadit. The notes are orange blossom. It opens up with orange blossom. It gives you that fresh burst. Then there's jasmine, there's tuberose, there's vetiver, and there's patchouli. It's a seductive, sexy floral fragrance, guys, and it's very long lasting. For a designer fragrance, this is very good quality. And you can purchase the lotion. Actually, this was in a gift set. So I'm not sure if they carry the lotion separately, 
but this is a very long lasting fragrance. If you love tuberose, you love orange blossom, this is the fragrance for you. Givenchy Leon Chadit. Now we have this musky, woody, floral, slightly spicy, bomb AF fragrance right here by Charlotte Tilbury, Scent of a Dream. Guys, this is a beautiful, exotic fragrance. Very florally, very creamy, very sweet. It's amazing. And I thank you, Sheree Lewis, for doing your review on this fragrance because this fragrance is a must have. So the notes are lemon, peach, mandarin. And I'm going to give you some of the notes, guys, because this has a lot of notes. There's uh, saffron, black pepper, there's tuberose, there's violet, there's jasmine, there's patchouli, there's incense, there's ambroxan, there's hedione, and a note called fire tree. And I have no idea what a fire tree smells like and i did not look it up because the other notes i know what the other notes smell like so with everything blended up with the fire tree it is an amazing fragrance guys long lasting there's no cream to this i wish they would have a cream to this come on charlotte soberry we need a body cream but you can layer with a rose lotion or whatever lotion you have maybe unscented would be best for this one it just reminds me of just walking in a garden with a beautiful sundress on, like a floral sundress with beautiful sandals on a beautiful spring day and just smelling like scent of a dream. Guys, the sillage on this is amazing. It is a must have. Don't look at the reviews, the negative reviews. I don't know what people's talking about. Like their nose must be broken because this fragrance is amazing. Charlotte Tilbury, scent of a dream. Now we have Mugler's Alien Extraordinaire. And guys, this is a very extraordinary fragrance. I haven't smelled this in a while, so I'm actually going to spray this one. It's so fresh and sweet. It almost smells like a popsicle to me. It's so beautiful, guys. So there's Tunisian Neroli. There's tea, there's bergamot, there's tiare flower, there's heliotrope, white amber, and cashmere. Guys, this is so beautiful. So this is an alien flanker. And if you smell the alien, the original alien in the beautiful purple bottle, which I love because I am an alien girl. I'm an angel and an alien girl, actually. But this fragrance, to me, does not smell like the original alien. So this could have been its own fragrance to me. It's not like, in my opinion, it's not a flanker. I mean, there is there's no jasmine in this fragrance either. So, I mean, whatever. In my opinion, it doesn't have the DNA of the original Alien. It's a beautiful fragrance. So if you have smelled the original Alien and you just weren't into it, you will love this, guys. It's a beautiful, fresh, tea-like, sweet fragrance that smells like a popsicle. Alien Extraordinaire, and it is so extraordinary, guys. Next on the list is Tom Ford's Rose prick guys it's not spring if rose prick isn't on the list like seriously this is a beautiful spicy peppery rose like rose bomb fragrance so it opens up with Sichuan pepper there's turmeric there's may rose turkish rose bulgarian rose patchouli and tonka bean guys i've heard people say that this doesn't last on their skin and for me this lasts I mean, I layer with a rose cream, a rose body cream from Jo Malone, but this actually lasts on me. And the thing about it is you're going to have fragrances in your collection that's not going to be super beast mode and long lasting. And, you know, you're going to have those fragrances. But if the scent puts you in a place that you want to be in and it transports you to this beautiful, magical place and it makes you happy, then I feel like having a fragrance that's not going to last on you for 12 hours that'll give you four to five, maybe six hours if you push it over spray and layer, then, I mean, it's it's worth it to me, in my opinion, because I don't need a fragrance that's mediocre that's gonna last on me for 13 hours. If you're gonna last on me for four to five, six hours, that's moderate and you're gonna project and I can take a decant of you and smell this beautiful amazingness throughout the day or the night, then, I mean, it's, it's a win for me. So Tom Ford Rose Prick. Now we have this classy, feminine, girly, flirty, just a beautiful, pretty fragrance. Miss Dior by Dior. Guys, the notes are really simple. There's rose, bergamot, and rosewood. It's a beautiful fragrance. You can also purchase the lotion with this if you want to layer. It just reminds me of being at brunch early in the morning on a Sunday. The breeze is blowing. You're by the water. It's a beautiful 
feminine it just makes you feel so ultra femme and classy guys it's a beautiful fragrance miss dior by dior now we have one of my favorite designer brands for fragrances narciso rodriguez guys i feel like the majority of the fragrances that Narciso Rodriguez puts out, for me, it's a love. I absolutely love the quality of the fragrances. They're long lasting, the scent, the way that he does musk, to me is like no other guys. It's a very clean, smooth, soft musk. And here we have floor musk, and it's a rose and musky fragrance. So there's pink pepper, there's rose, peony, musk, patchouli, and amber. It's a very elegant, but also sexy. This can be date night, this can be worn in the day, it's long lasting, it garners super compliments, guys. I definitely get a bunch of compliments when I'm wearing this fragrance. You don't have to overspray this. I mean, you can, but this is a very long lasting fragrance. The performance on this fragrance is beautiful. And you could also purchase the body cream. Guys, do you notice a trend here? I love to layer. Layering helps to extend the life of your fragrances and it just, I don't know, it's just a part of the entire experience. If I can get a shower gel and the body cream and top it off with the fragrance, guys, that's what I'll do because I wanna experience my fragrance experience in the shower. Not just when I'm dressed and I'm putting on the fragrance. I wanna smell that scent in the shower and then you put on your body cream. Even though a lot of times the, the creams for me don't have that high quality, they may smell really good, but I always layer with a lotion as my base, like a regular like eucerin lotion or a thick body cream, just like unscented. And then I layer that scented lotion on top of that. And then you put your fragrance. Who's smelling better than you? Nobody. Now we have this beautiful Prada fragrance, Iris Cedri. Guys, it's a beautiful pottery fragrance. The notes are Iris, Cedar, Tunisian Neroli, Benzoin, and Incense. It's a beautiful Iris fragrance, guys. Let me spray this one. Oh, it's so pretty. It's fresh. It just gives you a fresh blast. But then again, it's still powdery and warm at the same time, but not warm like for fall. Warm, just a cozy spring scent on those cooler spring days. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent, guys. And for me, I'm getting about four to five hours of performance on this. It doesn't come with a lotion or a body cream or shower gel or anything like that. But it's a beautiful fragrance that you can decant and take with you and refresh because it's not the most long lasting, but it's not horrible either. It doesn't, it's not struggling in performance, but it's not giving you like beast mode or anything like that. But it's very clean. It's very pottery. It's very fresh. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent. Prada Iris Cedri. It's not spring if you don't have a Gucci Bloom fragrance on your list, right? I was gonna put the original fragrance, but I recently talked about that in my tuberose video. So I wanted to give Ambrosia di Fiori some shine because I never really talk about this fragrance, but it is beautiful. So there's Jasmine Bud, there's Rangoon Creeper, Indian Tuberose, there's Damask Rose and Tuscan Oris. So they added rose to this fragrance, guys, and it is beautiful. Long lasting like the original Gucci Bloom, in my opinion, but this is sweet if you felt like the original Gucci Bloom you didn't like it because the tuberose was so strong or it's like fresh too fre or you know whatever whatever reason you didn't like it try this one here and I feel like this one you'll definitely love this fragrance and look at the atomizer it's such like a soft smooth mist mm. you still smell the tuberose so you have to be a tuberose lover or or not, but you do smell the tuberose, but there's rose in here and it's slightly animalic as well. Beautiful guys, Gucci Bloom, Ambrosia di Fiori. So that's it guys, 10 designer fragrances for spring. So let me know in the comments below, what are some of the fragrances that you're excited to wear or looking forward to wear this spring designer wise? We're gonna talk about the niche ones in another video, but today let's just keep it designer and give some light, shine some light on the designer fragrances guys, because even though I love niche fragrances and I feel like when I do go fragrance shopping, which is often, the majority of the fragrances that I purchase or that I'm even looking for are niche fragrances. I'm content with where my designer fragrances are right now. I'm not looking for any new designer fragrances. I don't care if you're intense. I don't, I don't care what flanker comes out. I'm, I'm good. I'm good with my designer fragrances. So the ones that I have, I absolutely love. So let's talk about it in the comments below like we always do. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI The Great, 
signing out, but I'll see you on my next video. Peace.